Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to D Trellix Dino. Today I'm going to be looking at Adventure Force 55 Pieces Dinosaurs Jumbo Bucket. And I'm really proud, so thank you. If this company is watching this, please make more of these. They are awesome. You're my new favorite ones that make packets like these full of them. Because first of all, they're not all that one color. They're different details and all that, which I really like. Plus, it was really nice because it's four, uh, $15, at least at Walmart it is. It carries, and it comes with some really neat pieces. And so, thank you, uh, Adventure Force, for doing that. And then, up here on my bed, I got my green lights on. I got my, uh, dinosaur stickers from a couple of years ago, so they're broken. I had to move them down here. Then I got my, uh, poster, or my wallpaper. It's pretty cool. And let's get started. Okay, here it is. And first, you can see it comes with, like, trees and stuff. So, first, I'll take out this little tree here. And it's neat because you can, if you need to pack it real good, you can take off these leaves and put it back on. So, like, this one's missing right here. Which is really nice. So, that's a piece. And, like, here's a full tree. That's what it looks like, which is really cool. Here's a tree with no leaves because I had to, like, fit them in. It comes with a ton of these rocks. They're not that good looking, but they're okay. I like them. And then the big main piece is, like, this mini mountain formation. That's there. And you also got these. They're like little sprouts. You got a few of these. Um, got this one. Here's the extra leaves. And there's, and then the rest is just mainly the rocks. Got the rocks. Rock. And then I think now we're on to the dinosaurs. Okay. And one reason I like it is because each, it has like a jumbo of each one of the dinosaurs. There's like one big one. And they come in di different sizes and colors, which is good. This one is a nice green, uh, Patasaurus, it looks like. That's pretty neat. I like that. Now, uh, here's a Triceratops, a black one. One of my favorite dinosaurs. I got a purple Stegosaurus, uh, medium size, because there is a jumbo one of this. And Triceratops has a jumbo one. You get a nice orange pterodactyl. I really like this texture. I think it suits it. And a little bit more face detail. And for Adventure Force, if you're going to make a lot more of these, um, a suggestion I do have to make it more interesting and more um, more uh, popular, probably, is a lot of times dinosaur companies will do this, or dinosaur toy companies, will use a lot of the same molds from other toys. Like, if you could start making different molds, that'd be really cool. And adding, like, more colors. I think that'd be really cool. And I know you're also working on, like, farm animals and all that, because I saw that too. But, uh, just a suggestion. Should, sorry. Oh, yeah. I also have my dinosaur, or Jurassic World bed sheet I got for Christmas. I love Jurassic Park and dinosaurs. It's, it's my favorite stuff. Here's a Pachyosaurus, or Pachycephalosaurus. That's a nice blue under texture. And this is what I like. They have multiple colors, not just one color. So you have like a nice uh, brownish, light beige brown uh, head sculpt or the butter. I forgot what you call them. Where, where they headbutt. They also did really good for the Pachycephalosaurus on the eyes. I don't know if you can really see that good. But yeah, they did a lot of good texture. They got a baby yellow one. Also, this one is one color, but it's small, so yeah. All right. Here's a bigger, it's almost like bigger Triceratops, another black one. Okay, and now we got a greenish, yellowish, then gray underbelly of a T-Rex, I think. Yeah, baby T-Rex. It's like a small juvenile, because there is like a complete, yeah, here. We got a yellow and brown baby T-Rex. Here we got another pterodactyl. This one's a little bit smaller, it seems. We got another Patasaurus, but bigger. All right. No, it's not bigger. But I know there is a bigger one. Ooh, a Parasaurophosaurus. A Paras... Para, Paracel... I cannot say it today, can I? Para, Paracephalosaurus. Sorry, but I do need more of these because I only have, like, one of the old, old plastic ones. And then I got, like, a baby purple one, which is all right because there is, like, a purple one of these. It's a nice texture. I like how they added the undercolor on this one. 
It's a nice pair of Staphylosaurus. And that's why I love this, because there's so many different kinds, which is great. So, like, this is going to be a big thing to my collection. Get another Pachycephalosaurus. You got a Velociraptor. I like the red to it. And the claw. Thank you. Or partially, thank you. Usually, they'll just add the same skin color to the claw, but they didn't, which is really nice. So I really like that, that detail. Paracephalosaurus. I like this one. It's like a realistic brownish black. Got another raptor. Triceratops. A... Okay, here's a bigger T-Rex, but it's more, uh... It's more, um, greenish kind of now. Orange. This is why I love this. Got this nice stegosaurus. Oh! Here's a nice pachycephalosaurus. It's like a green. I like that. I like it. I like it. We got a little bit bigger staff stegosaurus, I think. A another paracephalosaurus. Nice purple one. Alright. We got a smaller purple cephalos or stegosaurus. And Stegosaurus, I actually said Parasolosaurus. I cannot say it today. You got another Apatosaurus. Nice, nice. Pachycephalosaurus. Juvenile kind of T-Rex. Another T-Rex. Another Raptor. A and then we got these two Pterodons. I think this is the smaller one, maybe. This one, I'm not really sure. Nice, nice. I'm gonna save the jumbo ones for last. Got another nice Paracelophosaurus. Okay, okay. We got a rock. Oh, and next time for the company, another tip is maybe adding uh, some Spinosaurus. That'd be pretty cool. Pretty weird. Sorry. Ooh, I like this. They added like a baby mini. That would be good. And it goes to the purple one, which is matching. It's nice. Ooh, we got a Brachiosaurus, like a juvenile or young one. It's not a. Oh, and if you didn't know, uh, called Adventure Force. For this, I don't know if you know this or not. This is not the same dinosaur. So if you could add mini ones of this one, because this is a Brachiosaurus, you could tell by like the hump on its back or its head. A big bulge right here. It's just like regular in the way it's neck because this one goes straight up. This one kind of slopes down up. That's a Patasaurus Brachiosaurus. Just and that's a jumbo. I think it's the only one, but still pretty cool. I think we're on the last two small ones. Yeah, you got this nice baby. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I like. Oh, it has like nice red eyes too. Not just that. You see how the neck turns? That's what I'm talking about. Like multiple scopes. Got this nice small raptor. Nice, nice. And then, let me see the best for last. We got one very big mama mama. Uh, or data data. Um, Triceratops. I like it. I like it. I got one nice big. Oh, wait, there is two more small ones. I'll check those out first. Ooh, another nice uh, Perseverellophus. Ooh, this one seems to be not a um, Triceratops, but he, um, forgot the name. I did forget the name, but it has, like, one horn. It might be a baby Triceratops messed up, but I like it. I forgot the name, but sorry about that. Okay, that's the last of the small ones. I'm going to save the best for last, but here's a... Nice big stegosaurus, which I like that it matches all the others. And it gets a little darker, which is a good detail. And then my favorite so far, and one of my favorite colors, which is yellow. One nice, very big, juvenile, adultish, um, T-Rex. I really like that. Thank you, Adventure Force. Uh, the dinosaur part, at least. I really like it, so thanks for making these toys. I really like it. You're probably my favorite one that comes with, like, multiple dinosaurs now. And like I said, if you can take suggestions, like, maybe adding um, not just the primary dinosaurs, and I know you did add some interesting ones, but also maybe a Spinosaurus throw it, thrown in there. Maybe, um, 
I am just forgetting my dinosaur names because I'm so good at it, but I just keep doing it. Another thing is maybe work on this rock. Work on the rocks a little because they like bend too easily and then might break too easily. And then keep making the jumbo buckets. That's great. And another thing is add more, uh, and more different, um, a big one that would probably make it grow a lot more is add different, um, poses. Like what I really liked about that baby, uh, Triceratops, if I can find it. I can find it, but, um, let me try to find it real quick. This one. All right. Here's the main triceratops. It's straight. Like I said, this one has a turned neck. If that's a mistake, then I'm kind of disappointed. But if that's, it's meant to be turned head, thank you. I like it when they add multiple poses. And thanks for this T-Rex. This is pretty cool. Because I like yellow a lot. And purple underbelly. It's not the best, but it works. And uh, thank you, Adventure Force. And then for my subscribers, I will be making more videos. I've been taking a long break because of school and just summer break. It's like midway now. I'll start going on my insect collection because I also like reptiles. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. Um, but yeah, I'll do then. Thank you. So, and then one more thing is an Easter egg for my dinosaur toys collection that are better. Like the professional ones where you buy them alone. Here's my shelf with all my good dinosaurs. Well, not all of them. Some of them is the box. That's a dinosaur poster. I got my good ones. And they're kind of stuffed because I had to make room for my insect collection and a gecko I found. I named them Brick, my insect collection. And then for my subscribers, once I get a few more, I'm going to find out how to make a poll and for what terrain I should make this insect um, thing. The insect uh, aquarium. This is a Trallix Dino. I think you know where I got my name. Please like and subscribe, and toodles.